Holy crap. That was one of the most intense flights. Hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful day today in Norway. It is a little cold, it's a little snowy, but it's a nice day, I think, to test a pretty crazy invention here. And that is a quad seven turn helical antenna setup for this HD Zero system. Now these DIY helical antennas I've talked about numerous times before, and I have a pretty good DIY video that you should check out if you haven't already. The modification to the VRX is quite simple. You remove the two white outer covers and inside you're going to find a small patch antenna and we're going to just simply disconnect that. The connection inside is a small UFL connector and it just simply pops off. And what we're going to use is a couple UFL to SMA connectors that I ordered online for pretty cheap. And I've made a housing that actually clicks onto the outside of the VRX. And if you have a 3D printer, you can find the STL file in the description below, which you'll find on Thingiverse if you search HD0 SharkBite SMA Adapter Cube. They work pretty well, as you can see, and it makes for a really nice clean solution for adding SMA connections to your VRX, which would allow you to not only use these helical antennas, but really any antenna with an SMA connector. Uh, we did a test with this just the other day, and we did it at 25 milliwatts, kind of on accident actually, but the results were pretty cool. We got over three kilometers using only 25 milliwatts. Today I'm going to do two more tests. I'm going to use 200 milliwatts, and then I'm going to do another run using 500 milliwatts. And we're going to see how far we can get out into this mountain range, how clear we can keep the signal, and what level we can keep on the signal bars. This should be pretty interesting. Uh, this setup here is a little ridiculous. Uh, you probably look insane wearing this, and this is probably better suited for a ground station, but it doesn't really weigh that much, and I don't actually notice it too much on my head. So if you're like out in the middle of nowhere and no one's gonna see you, uh, then maybe you could wear this. Uh, either way, we're gonna test it out now, so let's get going. Here we go. All right, so shoot into the menu here. We are on 200 milliwatts of VTX power and everything else looks good so without further ado here we go are these power lines ready <laughs> right, here we go if I do have the emergency land today it kind of sucks because uh there's so much snow everywhere it's not going to be a great place to bring it down and by the time I get to the quad, it's pretty likely that the electronics are going to be fried. And a little bit of sparkles. Uh, that could actually be because I'm using TBS Crossfire with telemetry. And I've heard from a lot of people that the telemetry signal actually causes the interference. Hmm, weird interference. I don't know what that is. Oh, interesting. So I'm just moving my controller. I'm using my moving my transmitter closer to my head right now. Look at that. Wow. So I almost wonder if my transmitter is causing the issue. That's weird. If I put my transmitter way far away. So watch, I'm gonna move my transmitter up and now it's right near my head, getting a lot of interference. That's interesting. Okay, well, five kilometer at 200 milliwatt using the HD0 system. I think that's pretty decent. I mean, you guys using the 200 milliwatt boards aren't doing long range. And the fact that you could do five kilometer is pretty impressive. That's certainly gonna meet the needs of any freestyle guys. Um, but for us long range folks, we of course wouldn't be using 200 milliwatt. We would want as much VTX power as possible. And we would probably opt for the 500 milliwatt of this VTX or the future VTX, which should be coming in theoretically closer to one watt here. Okay, but 5.16 kilometers is pretty good for 200 milliwatt. I'm happy with that. Uh, this is a funny clip. When I came back, I forgot to plan a place to land. I decided to try to go into this woodshed, but the wind got the best of me. Now let's continue to the 500 milliwatt range test. Today what we're going to try to do is just go nice and gentle up this slope and we're going to follow this river up and we're going to go to the top of this peak and if we can get 
over that peak, that will be seven kilometers and that will be amazing. Now, I have 100% confidence that the HD0 system is gonna make it there and that I will have video signal. What I'm not so confident about is the quad that I'm using. It has 2306 motors that are 2400 kV and it's swinging a six inch prop. It's not really built for long range. However, I think if I manage my throttle and control my amp output, I might be able to squeeze the seven kilometers out. It's something I've tried before and never quite been able to do. But we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure everything is on 500 milliwatts. Turn the pit mode off. Uh, just in case and go ahead and exit and save all right everything's all set let's get into the air and here we go just gonna go ahead and cruise out now i'm gonna be going pretty slow here uh, i'm trying to keep the amps below 15 amps around 12 or 13 i think would be good which means i'm only going to be going about 40 kilometers an hour which is pretty slow but we need to try to conserve as much battery life as possible. I'll just speed this part up when I go ahead and do the video and probably put a little bit of music there for you, so. Okay, so we've just, uh, we just passed uh, two kilometers and it looks like we used about 680 milliamp hours. Uh, the pack that I'm using is actually a 4,000 milliamp hour pack. So right now I think we're doing pretty good. But you have to remember with your batteries that um, as there's less energy in them, they become less efficient. So don't think that if it took me 2,000 to go straight in one direction, that's gonna take me 2,000 to get back in the next direction. Wow, this is getting intense here. Uh, we are now passing 5.66 kilometers. Uh, that was my previous record. So here we are guys. This is all untouched territory for me and the HD0 system here specifically. These quad seven turn helical antennas are working awesome. All right, here we go. We are coming over the edge of this huge mountain. We have just passed 2000 milliamp hours it looks like. Wow, this is beautiful up here. I'm at 2100 milliamp hours. I don't know if I can even go much further, you guys. I'm at 6.72 kilometers. All right, well, let's just try it. I'm gonna keep slowly pushing and we'll see if we can make it to seven kilometers. How's our battery? We're at 2200 milliamp hours. Keeping the amps pretty low still. Whoa, we're getting a little break up there. <laughs> That's okay. This, this area in front of me here is definitely feels like no man's land. I don't know if I could hike up here if I was even able to. I mean, in the snow, it's not going to be possible. Look at this guy, 6.95. Oh my God. All right, we're going seven kilometers. Here we come. Boom. There it is, guys. Seven point. 0, 4, 5, 7 .0 oh my god let's turn around and head back home all right we have 2400 milliamp hours left that is substantially less than half the battery we are going to be cutting it close Yeah, I don't, I don't know guys. I don't know if I'm going to make it home. In my head, I'm kind of thinking uh, where I could land. The, the problem is it's there's so much snow everywhere. There's no real safe place to land. I can't just plop it down in the grass and go get it. Oh my God, 2.7 volts. Will we make it? Uh, there's 2.6 volts. It's going to drop. I'm not going to make it. Oh brother. Nope. Nope, nope, it has no power. I'm over 4,000 milliamp hours. It's over. I'm going to try to do a gentle land in the snow. I'm killing this battery pack. Okay, I'm just going to set it right down. Here we go. And. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not good. Not good. 
incredible. Almost made it home. Holy crap. That, that is a huge win. Wow guys, seven kilometers. Whew, that was intense. Stay tuned, till next time. See ya.